First man up, Lionel Messi. Why not? That's some good oh, managing. Bring good it, managing bring for the call. Back to Houston, John and Stu. Rob, the ninth consecutive penalty shootout for Argentina that Lionel Messi will take first. He has made every single attempt bar one when he put it high against Chile in the 2016 Copa America final. And it's an Argentina team that was ready to go quick. Ready to go. They were out there at the halfway line. Ecuador had more of a team huddle. They were delaying things. Argentina ready for business. So important, the first kick. That's why Messi goes. You set the tone for the rest of the shootout. Huge moment for Argentina here. Against 37-year-old Alexander Dominguez, who again won three penalty shootouts with his club team last year. Panenka's off the top of the bar into the roof of the net. Messi missed. Oh, my goodness. Talk about setting the tone. And Lionel Messi looks so calm and focused. Had a clear plan of what he wanted to do, which was the Panenka. And he just chipped it too much off the crossbar and over. That was the last shootout that they missed was in that final when he missed the first yeah, one. And think about the shockwave through the team after that moment, that miss there. 36-year-old Angel Mena, his 61st all-time appearance. He's been an MLS killer in his career in Mexico. Can he be an Argentina killer in the shootout for Ecuador against Emiliano Martinez? Saved! Listen, we talk so often for Lionel Messi and what this team is doing for them, but it always needs players to step up around, and this is why this team has been so successful. Martinez just so good at reading the body language of the attacker. Little hesitation to the right, boom, he knows where Mena's going, makes the save, and then, as always, the showman to the crowd. Julian Alvarez lost his starting spot at this tournament. He came on for Latara Martinez as a sub. Taking in the second round, makes it! I guess a six foot five goalkeeper, you need every bit of that corner, and it's a great penalty from Julian Alvarez picking out the top corner. Dominguez went the right way. This is going to be a fun shootout right here. This is back and forth, back and forth. He's made seven saves now in four career shootouts for his country. Alan Minda now, 21 years of age, just his eighth ever game for his country, taking in the second round in front of 70,000 fans in Houston. Saved again! You watch him in the net for a penalty shooter. It's almost like he expects to save every single one. Same thing again. Look at that left hand up above his body. But as Mina had committed to it, he's down head over the top. Martinez is already there. He saw it. Same thing. He gives the shimmy to the left saying, I know you're going right. Boom. Hand is up. Advantage back to Argentina. As you said, if it's possible to be a World Cup winner and play for Liverpool and be an unsung hero, Alexis McAllister is that man. And he takes now in the third round for Argentina. And scores! That's a great penalty. Just the focus, the concentration, and you saw how long he just collected himself before he took the penalty. Extreme focus. A little bit of a prayer as well from Argentina. Look at that, just across his body, into the side netting. Dibu right now is holding He's the ball. He's whipping up the crowd. Yeah, but this is something he did at the World Cup too. Off the ball, he threw the ball away. 
Shenanigans is the, the PC word that I can use. But he saved the part first two. John Yeboah is from Germany. Might have been playing for the Germans at the Euros. He switched to Ecuador this year. And he delivers. And boy, did they need him to. They needed to because Argentina were building that momentum. And Emi Martinez that time actually started far to the right of his goal. Was daring him to put it in that corner. Well, Yeboah did. That's a great finish. You see, he quickly shuffled back in there, and he called his bluff. Said, yeah, you know what? I am going to stick it right in that corner. Gonzalo Montiel, as he did in the World Cup final, taking fourth. They only needed four kicks in the World Cup final. His kick won the World Cup for Argentina. This would put Argentina on the verge of victory. Yes! It didn't feel like the cleanest of strikes. No, it certainly wasn't. You saw the chalk coming up from the penalty spot. Kind of hits into the middle of it, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is it hits the back of the net, and he got Dominguez to go the wrong way. Messi with a bit of a chuckle. And look, there's it. Martinez did the same thing again. Off your screen right now, he threw the ball away, which is what Caicedo, who the man who missed the chance at the very end of the half, had to go get it, now has to reset. Jordi Caicedo could have won this game for Ecuador with that header in the final seconds. He has to make this kick to keep Ecuador in it. If he misses, if Emiliano Martinez saves, Argentina advances. And he got a kick to it or a touch or something, but it is in. And Ecuador are alive, but just barely. Oh, he went the right way. He had it. And, <laughs> yeah... Felix Sanchez's his look says a lot there. Look what it means to these fans. And Emmy Martinez, look, he goes the right way. He goes to his right. A little bit of a hesitation. The timing is good. And almost he goes too soon. And the ball's just at a weird height. It comes off his knee and in the back. Nicolas Otamendi tonight moved into the top 10. Games played in Argentina's history. He's 36. He can win this shootout for his country with this kick. Yes!